Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is your weekly general reading for the 9th through the 15th of March 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now, Leo, I'm using the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle along with the traditional Tarot for your weekly general messages. So let's see what energies we have for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we are ready. Ooh, so we have the Owl. Deception and Wisdom. All right. Powerful energy right there. Uh, I feel you guys are going to be seeing clearly. You're going to be seeing through someone's... Uh, um, I feel someone's wearing a false mask and you're going to be seeing through it this week. You're going to be seeing the deception. All right. For others of you, we're talking about how much wisdom. And you know, I feel like this is for all of you. You know, this is that knowledge that you hold within. Uh, many of you are deep divers. You know, you are... Uh, really doing the research, uh, gaining uh, that hidden knowledge that uh, I feel like you crave. You know, the owl to me reminds, that's why my, my channel is Hidden Truth. Seeking out the hidden truths and, and discovery here. And I love it. And that's what you guys are doing. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And what comes from this uh, discovery is the truth that you see in others and the clarity that you have as well. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, what does Leo need to know this week? 9th through the 15th. Thank you, Spirit. Boy, I tell you what, Leo, you're going to be seeing people... Uh, the red flags are just going to be going off. You're going to know their intentions. Uh, you know, and that's a powerful energy. Very powerful. Um, but at the same time, uh, it's almost like when you discover the truth about somebody, it's like the blinders being taken off, especially someone that you care about or someone that you've known for a long time. And it can be very painful as well. You know, oftentimes the truth, when it comes out or when you see it, you know, when you see things that wasn't what you really thought they were and you see it for what it truly is, it can be, it can be very hurtful. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, your current situation is the Seven of Cups. And your foundation is the Nine of Pentacles. Recent past energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Crowning you. There's that truth and that clarity. The King of Swords. Your new circumstance is the Six of Pentacles. In the position of what you need to know, there's that truth and clarity again. My goodness. Ace of Swords. Your outcome energy is the King of Cups. There's all that wisdom and knowledge right there that you hold within yourself. And you know what, Leo? You have been very generous. You've, you've been generous with how you uh, help others along their path and journey. You've been generous of your time. You've been generous of your money. And I feel like, you know, there's been a huge awakening here of somebody that has been taking advantage of your generosity. And I see you setting boundaries up here. It's almost like you're like, wait a minute. This isn't going to happen anymore. All right. You know, this is not right. Okay. So definitely a sense of you standing in your power and authority as well. Give me just a moment. So we do have, we have the Ace of uh, Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. That's the Master number 11 coming up here. Okay. I always tell you, go and Google the angel number, meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. 
Uh, another thing that I'm seeing here, this is the number 13. Uh, we do have a Friday the 13th coming up here this week as well. This could be where there's an unmasking here, where you're seeing the deception in someone. That's coming through very clear from my guides as well. Always listen to your intuition, Leo. Uh, I just feel like there's a huge shift coming in here this week. And, you know, what's coming with this shift is your energy and your vibration is raising to a whole uh, another level here. And it's almost like where maybe you didn't see certain things about people, maybe people you've known for a long time. This could be your family as well. Those, those things that were hitting, hidden are coming uh, to the light, okay? And you're seeing it very clearly. For some of you, this is, it could be very painful because I feel like this is someone that you care about and you love. But now you're seeing them in a whole different light here, okay? And you will be setting up boundaries. You know, you just have so much love and wisdom to, to offer others. And I feel like you're always helping people. You're helping people get out of situations. You're the one that everybody comes to when they have a problem. And, you know, you've either used your money or you've spent a lot of time, you know, getting people out of bad situations that they've gotten themselves into. You're the one that comes and cleans it up for them. And I feel like this is a whole awakening here where, wait a minute, what's going on? Okay? You're seeing people's true colors. Now you have the Seven of Cups coming up here. I'm getting many different things uh, from this, this energy right here. And this is your current situation. Many of you are feeling a bit overwhelmed. You have some opportunities coming in here. This could be job related, career related, business related. Always listen to your intuition, okay, when making a choice. There is no wrong decision here, is what my guide is saying. So don't check in with yourself, Leo, okay? Uh, as long as you check in with yourself and you make a decision coming from that space, uh, it's going to be the best choice or decision for the betterment of your situation. Now, another thing I'm getting right here, some of you, this person that you're seeing the, the truth about, you're realizing that they have some type of addiction. It could be alcohol. This could be in a drug addiction as well. Maybe you weren't aware of the drugs, but now you are. Okay? Um, and... and you know, I see where you're setting the boundaries up here, okay? Like, whoa, you're going to go get some help. Um, you're going to do this and that, or, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to help you anymore, okay? That's for a few of you. Now, we have the Nine of Pentacles coming up here in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. This, you know, this is a beautiful energy. There's a sense of independence, being self-reliant, uh, responsible energy right here. This also talks about, you know, you're working towards stability and security, and it is achievable. It's within reach here. Some of you may already start to be feeling some type of material harvest. Maybe it's something that you've already uh, done in the past because you've already planted seeds here. Okay, in your recent past, this could be a career, new career that is really taking off here and you're moving up, you're making more money. This could have been a business that you started as well. So some of you could definitely uh, be starting to see material gain coming to fruition for you. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles coming up here in your recent past. Um, like I said, this talks about the beginning of prosperity. This is reward for effort right here. Uh, this is a beautiful energy. What you're taking action on here, what you've nurtured in your past, I definitely get a sense here. There's a reward coming in here or business is picking up or your career. You've got a promotion, a pay raise. This is definitely something that you've already maybe done in the recent past coming to fruition now. So it was, it was an amazing... Um, go-getter opportunity right here it was a golden opportunity that was in your recent past i feel for some of you this is definitely we're talking about you had recently started a business okay and now you're starting to see it pick up you're seeing the clients you're seeing the contracts so amazing now in the position of your you know your crowning position you have the king of swords coming up here 
This is whether you're male or female, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is you standing in your truth and in your power right here, Leo. I feel like within this situation that's dealing with another person, uh, you're doing what's right and what's just for you at this time. You're being fair, okay? The King of Swords is a fair, balanced energy. This is definitely you releasing or letting go, maybe, of somebody that has um, been very deceitful, okay? For some of you, you are setting up boundaries here. Six of Pentacles as your new circumstance or opportunity. You know, this is you making sure that the scales are balanced between give and take. Okay, this is you setting those boundaries. I feel like somebody has just been taking, taking, taking. And what really makes this even, I feel, more challenging for you and playing on your heartstrings, what they've been getting from you, they've been using for some something that uh, isn't good for them, okay? Now, any addiction done out of moderation, but I'm, I'm definitely getting alcohol and drugs right here, and you, you're realizing what's going on, and this is you setting those boundaries. Uh, I feel for some of you, you've, you had to let somebody go even. You, you've released them completely, walked away from the whole situation. Now, for some of you, we are talking about this money from the past. There's a lot going on here, Leo. St stay with me. Bless my heart. I'm receiving these messages. Some of you, this is uh, an inheritance. This is a lawsuit, something legal that's coming in that was from the past as well. Um, I feel like you're getting what's owed to you. Now, it's going to be very important that between all give and take relationships are balanced because you want to be open to receive abundance as well. Leo, you are just as worthy as the people that you give to. Okay, so you want to make sure you're, you're getting what's owed to you and you have, you have blessings coming to you. Now, in the position of what you need to know, we have this Ace of Swords. This is a whole new beginning of clarity, doing what's right and what's just for you. Okay, this is you cutting out, letting go of toxic energies, toxic people, maybe toxic situations. This could even be have to do with the toxic work environment. You're done with it, okay? There's a new beginning here that's bringing in so much clarity. Like I said, it has to do with this, this awareness that you have now you're stepping into a whole new spiritual gift here that is allowing for you to see things and people for what it truly is and you know this is really you have the foresight here so this is very powerful you know when you have that foresight that inner knowing you can see the red flags or you can see something coming up here that's a truly amazing gift and this is what you're stepping into and this can bring about a lot of success as well. This is when you take and you nurture those ideas, those seeds that you've planted, and it can bring about a harvest. It can bring about a lot of creativity and success. Now you have the King of Cups coming up here as your outcome energy. You know, this is amazing. Whether you're male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. This is you embodying this energy. This is you having, you know, balanced energy. This is you. Some of you are teachers. You're mentors. People look up to you. They respect you. Um, you this is, you know, again, I feel like whatever this situation is right here, even though it was painful, you had to let somebody go or you set boundaries, you're not allowing that to define you. Uh, it hasn't scorned you where you're like, I'm not going to help another person again. It's the right here. This is you being comfortable with who you are, knowing that you have this balance, knowing that you have a lot to offer others, whether it's spiritual, whether it's just giving someone a shoulder to cry on or listening to someone, you know, this is a very supportive and nurturing energy, and it's beautiful, Leo. I feel like you're being very fair to whoever this 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 situation is, and I definitely feel a few of you are are going having this situation. And this could even be your blood, your own family. All right, there was a lot going on here. I hope. 
this come through clearly okay sometimes I feel like I'm not making sense or there's just a lot of things going on uh, it's a bit overwhelming as well for me so I, I hope it come off I hope you under that I hope I made this uh, understood okay because many different things going on here all right Leo I love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment let me know what's going on in your situation I send you all my love wishes and blessings and I will see you next time bye bye Leo